hi there good afternoon how are you doing um, if you're encountering me for the first time my name is Hebziba Frances I am a minister of the Lord I lead two women ministries I'm a Christian author Christian blogger and a lawyer by profession oh you can simply call me the Lord's voice and scribe and fit to the nations yesterday I began to speak to you about what it's God saying about our finances now in this time and I shared with you about how every time there is difficulty every time it seems like the world is experiencing one thing God's people always kind of live with a bounty and I shared with you from Exodus chapter 12 how the wealth transfer happened when um, a plague was going on in Egypt and instead of there wasn't any debt in the land of Israel and instead of debt or tears or money the Israelites even left with a wealth transfer of gold and silver and riches even in that time and I told you about how God is doing the same thing today and even right now God is saying that your, his people, you and I, if you are a believer, if you belong to God, God is saying that you can prosper and excel and become great financially even in this time. And today I want to break it down a little, a little bit more and I want to talk about how, how does the wealth transfer happen? How is this wealth transfer going to happen? Heavenly Father, I ask that you would give me your words. Breathe life upon the word you give to me. Let it be spirit and life and let understanding be given unto everyone listening. Let hearts be open to hear your word in Jesus' name. Amen. So how does the wealth transfer happen? In Exodus chapter 12, we see that one way that the wealth transfer happens is when people just begin to give you things, right? People just begin to give you stuff. So in Exodus 12, the Bible says that God told the Israelites, ask the Egyptians for articles of gold, articles of silver, which was their currency in that time. And I will give you favor in their eyes and they will give these things to you. And that was how the wealth transfer happened in the time, you know, in, the, in Egypt, when the Israelites were living in Egypt. But how is God's, how is it going to happen? You know, that's one way that is, it happens. But that's not the only way by which wealth transfer happens during famine or during difficult times. I want to take our text today from Genesis chapter 26, talking about Isaac. The Bible says in Genesis 26 verse 1, there was a famine in the land because of the first, beside the first famine, which was in the days of Abraham. So this land was experiencing a famine which is what people predict right now that all oh, the the world is going to go through a, re a recession you know and the bible says yeah and isaac went to isaac went to abimelech king of the philistines in jera and the lord appeared to him and said do not go down to egypt live in the land of which i shall tell you dwell in this land and i will be with you and i will bless you for to you and to your descendants i give all these lands and I will perform the oath which I swore to Abraham, your father, and I will make your descendants multiply as the stars of heaven. I will give to your descendants all this land, and in your seed all the nations of the earth will be blessed. Now, I break down what exactly is happening here, what God was reminding Isaac about. I break it down in our divine provision class, and if you haven't registered for that, it holds tomorrow, please register. But essentially, we see here that there was a famine in the land. And Isaac is like, oh, there's famine in this land, so I'm going to run to another land. And God says, don't go anywhere. I'm going to bless you in this land. But how did the blessing happen? Let's go over to the same Genesis 26 verse 12. It says, then Isaac sold in the land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. And the man began to prosper and continued prospering until he became very prosperous. For he had possessions of flocks and possessions of hares and a great number of servants. So the Philistines envied him. In a land of famine, Isaac gets the word of the Lord and Isaac begins to sow. Kaya katoske brekotosh. That's a word for somebody. You've stopped working on what God said you should work on because you've told yourself that we are in recession. 
we are in famine this is a dry season and you stopped working on it but you don't understand how this works the reason why isaac began to prosper and the other people didn't prosper was because he sold he did not just sow, he got a word and then he sold. Meaning that you get a word from God now that he's telling you, I can bless you. I want to bless you even in this time. Some of us will take that word and write it in a journal. But you don't go out to sow. The wealth transfer does not only happen by people giving you stuff. The wealth transfer also happens when you sow and God blesses the work of your hands. In fact, this is the way the normal blessing process happens. You sow with your hands, you go to work with your hands and God blesses you. So Isaac heard a word from God and Isaac took that word and ran with the word for his business. As a result, God multiplied. God multiplied the works of his hands. He sowed and reaped a hundredfold. He didn't just get back what he had sowed. It wasn't just a, a, a reaping, you know, based on the number of seeds, but God multiplied it. But your hand has to go to work and then the hand of God will come upon your hand and give you a multiplication of what you are doing. This is another way. In fact, this, this I feel is the major way that God is calling his people to work with him in getting the wealth transfer from the world into the church, into the hands of believers. Believers go to work. Believers sow your seeds. Believers run with your business. You are not doing that because you are a fool, but rather you are doing it because the word of the Lord has come to you that he's going to bless you even in this time. If you don't do this, you are going to cry foul. You know, and that's where ideas from the Holy Spirit have to come in. And I'm going to talk about that tomorrow. You know, innovation, ideas, wisdom, what to create. That's where it comes in. But you have to decide this. You have to know this first of all. That the wealth transfer is not just going to come from people giving you things. The wealth transfer is going to come from you putting your hand to the plow. Doing your work. Doing your business. Even in farming. And you would see God's hand come upon your work and multiply your proceeds. This is one major way that the wealth transfer is going to come to the church in this time. I know it's going against the grain, but believers, the word of the Lord has come to us. Get going. Sow your seeds. The Holy Spirit can give you wisdom, and I'll talk about that tomorrow. But don't take your hand, don't pull your hand back from the plow. The reason why Isaac became so prosperous, this man was sowing in a land that no one else was sowing in. So guess who they would buy from? He had a monopoly of the industry because he was doing what other people weren't doing. His occupation was like a, a farmer. Other farmers weren't sowing, but he was sowing. Guess who they would buy from? Who has products to sell? Him. And it's needed. They need what he, you know, what he got in his increase from his farmland. It's the same thing with you. Get going with the work God has given to you for your industry. The world may not be putting out work, but you are. And God is going to create a, a need and supply for that your work. He would multiply your work. Heavenly Father, I pray that your word be made flesh in our hearts. I pray understanding is given unto us. I pray that we will not just be hearers but doers. I pray that all over the earth, believers will start seeking you concerning your word, concerning your thoughts about our finances, and we will start obeying your word that we hear. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Amen. We are still praying and asking for wisdom on my Mixler um, app. You can click on the link on my bio to join us. Tomorrow is actually the last day. We'll pray by 11 a.m. every day. 
and then divine provision teaching holds tomorrow friday guys please a lot of people register late registered late the last time and it really doesn't bode well for adding additional members when we've already started teaching so please the class is 2,000 Naira only. It's something God gave to me, a solution for people crying out about their finances. There's a system in the kingdom that can get you money, get you financial increase even right now. So please register for that class. Invite and share with people you know to join us. We start by 6 p.m. Friday, 1st May 2020, tomorrow. So click on the link um, on my bio if you're outside Nigeria to pay and join the class it will automatically redirect you to class or use the account details to pay and send me a dm or whatsapp message for the link to join the class so see you guys and bye for now